Hey guys, so TJ Scorman and I didn't record a video for today, so I thought I would try something different. I'm gonna tell you guys a story. Uh, probably my favorite story from the time I took a trip to Japan. So to set the stage for you guys, some of you may know, TJ Scorman and I have known each other for quite a few years. We are basically next door neighbors. So a couple years ago, I decided I wanted to visit Japan. Uh, I was initially gonna go by myself, and after I told Travis and his sister, uh, they asked if they could join, and I agreed. So we all went to Japan together. We decided to spend most of our time uh, in and around Tokyo, and while we were exploring the city and looking for some cool souvenirs, you know, just to bring back to our families and whatnot, uh, we came across what I can really only describe as an amusement park in a mall. You know, there were roller coasters, Ferris wheels, something that resembled like bumper cars, you know, a bunch of other like carnival games. It was a sight to behold, honestly, um, especially since we, we didn't expect this. So after having some fun on some of the attractions, mainly the Ferris wheel, the roller coaster, we found a place to eat. We were getting ready to leave when something catches my eye. There was a haunted house. Now I'm not a big fan of haunted houses, not because they scare me, but mostly because haunted houses are just jump scares after jump scares after jump scares. But there was something about this one that just grabbed my attention. So myself and Travis decided to go check out this haunted house. His sister didn't want to come, so she's irrelevant for the rest of the story. This haunted house had a story to go along with it. And it has been a couple of years since we went there, so my recollection is a bit hazy. But it, it was kind of based off the grudge, you know, the girl crawling out of the TV, long black hair in front of her face. And us, as like the main characters, the heroes, if you will, of the story, we had to deliver something of an amulet or, you know, something like that to stop a curse. Or again, it, my recollection's a bit hazy. Now is a good time to mention that at the time, my Japanese was very, how can I say, basic. And Travis didn't speak any. Now you're probably asking yourself, you know, why go to a country when you don't speak their language? That is a valid question, and I am not going to answer it. So as I'm vaguely grasping the story that they're trying to convey to us in the minimal English they know and the minimal Japanese that I know, um, and Travis not really understanding what's going on, they just kind of shoo us into the haunted house. Now, this haunted house was probably the best haunted house I'd ever been in. And to this date is probably the best one I have still been in. Because it was, you know, you were in the story. It, you know, the environment was all around you. It just kind of pulled us into the story. Sometimes something would pop out at you. Other times nothing would pop out at you. So it just kept you really on edge. A group in front of us consisted about five high school aged boys. You know, they kept going slower and slower because they were slowly making their way through the rooms, screaming at everything. Um, so eventually we caught up to them. Now, seeing as their group was large, we decided to hang back a bit and hope that they got through the next couple of rooms a bit faster. Now, while we were waiting for the group ahead of us to speed up, the group behind us, which were about two high school aged girls, they caught up to us. So we, you know, we kind of make eye contact and just give a nod and we just went through the next couple of rooms together. And as the guys in front of us were getting progressively slower and slower, we eventually catch up to them again. So now it's their group, me and Travis and the two girls. So I turn around and ask the girls, you know, in the best Japanese I had at the time, uh, and said, you know, do you want to wait? You know, I didn't want to speak too loudly, so I kind of whispered it a little bit. Um, but they didn't seem to understand me. So I go to turn around and ask them again. And what I see 
gave me a wonderful idea. Coming down from the ceiling was a mechanism that looked like a grudge girl. And if I remember, I will post a picture of what she looks like just so you have an idea of what they saw. It was truly like a scene out of a movie. I turn around to ask them something. I see this thing swinging down from the ceiling. I just take my arm and I point right in between them. He slowly turned their heads and right at the moment that it's stopping behind them, that's when they see it. You know, they scream and they scream loud. You know, they jump back into us and we tumble through the door into the final room. Now, at this point, Travis had no idea what was going on. And I, myself and the two girls were laughing. Well, they were like cry laughing. I was I was in hysterics. Um, no, I asked if they were okay and apologized for doing that to them. We shared a good laugh uh, and then we parted ways. Now, that is probably my favorite story to tell from my time in Japan. Just because it was just out of nowhere, you know, there was this amusement park in the middle of a mall and everything just lined up so perfectly. So if you did enjoy this story and you do want to hear more stories I may have about either my trips to Japan or just stories from my life, uh, let me know in the comments below and I may make another one. Uh, but until then, thanks so much for watching. Again, sorry for a bit of a different video, but let me know if you did enjoy it and I may continue to do more of these. But until uh, next time, have a good day.